Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer from Agilent Technologies, and today we're going to talk about making humidity measurements. I have several devices here today to measure humidity. Let's start with the German Weather House. The way the German Weather House works is on a wet day, the male will come out of the house and the female will retreat back inside. Whereas on a dry day, the female will come out of the house and the male will stay inside the house. The way an antique weather house worked is they actually used a human hair and so as the humidity soaked into the hair, the hair would actually stretch allowing the male to come out of the house and on a dry day it would contract allowing the female to come out of the house. Another example of a mechanical humidity sensor is this weather dial. It contains a barometer as well as a thermometer and a humidity sensor known as a hygrometer. It's a mechanical device that changes. It's a spring that gets longer with the amount of humidity applied to it. And then as the humidity dries out, then the spring shrinks and the dial moves backwards. So several examples of the electronic hygrometer. These are three pin devices. They work very well in the types of conditions you'd have in a home or office environment. The way it works is you apply five volts to the first two pins and then the third pin gives you a voltage that is based on the relative humidity. Here's another example of one of these three pin devices. I like this one in that you can see the resistive device that changes resistance based on humidity and on the back of it you can actually see the circuit that's used to create the proportional voltage. The final example I have is attached to the back of the 34970. It comes in a, a nice case and it also contains a thermistor so it can measure temperature along with humidity. This uh, is a very accurate sensor. It's uh, 2% accuracy over a broad range of temperatures and humidity. So let's go ahead and make some measurements. The first thing we want to do is we want to set up our um, first channel, which we connected our thermistor to. So I'm going to go ahead and configure that channel. Uh, we use the 34972 uses universal channels, so you can hook up your DUT or sensor to any channel and then you get to select the type of voltage or resistance that you have connected to it. I have um, connected again a temperature sensor, so I'm going to select temperature and then it'll ask us the type of sensor we have connected, thermocouples, RTD, or thermistors. I'm using a thermistor, so I'll select thermistor and it's a 10k ohm thermistor, so I'll go ahead and select 10k ohms. We'll measure in degree C with 0.1 degree resolution. Okay, our second channel is just measuring the 5 volt supply. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, stick with the defaults on that channel. On channel 3, we're again going to measure the voltage that's proportional to the MIDI. So again, I can stick with the defaults, but I am going to add in some scaling. So from the data sheet, I have the scale factors, so I'm going to set the gain. I'm going to set the gain to 37.5. I'm also going to set an offset. And from the, again, from the data sheet, the offset I need to set is a negative 37.75. Lastly, I want to set the units. Instead of being DC volts, I want to set a unit value that makes more sense for the measurement that we're making. Since it's humidity, I've selected HUM as our label for this channel. So as you can see, right now we have 53.6 degrees or excuse me, 53.6% humidity in the room. So that's an example I we can set up from the front panel. We can also go ahead and set up a scan. So we first started off with setting the scan interval. So right now I have it set for a five second interval. One trick we can do is we can, um, you can set up the number of scans you wanna make, or if you go past zero, you can go into the continuous mode. And so it will continue to scan until you stop it. We could also set up alarms 
um, we're not going to do um, limit testing for this particular example. Let's go ahead and, and um, let's go start our scan. So right now, every five seconds, you may be able to hear the relays. It will go off and, and do a scan of the um, temperature in the room and of the voltage that's being applied to the sensor and also um, reading back the voltage and scaling it. Each of these readings is time stamped and being stored in non-volatile memory with inside the unit. And again, um, we can go ahead and stop at any time. So I'll go ahead and hold this to stop so the, the scan is stopped and the data is, is being stored in the instrument. So that's an example of uh, data logging humidity from the front panel of 34972. But we go ahead and move along and take a look at uh, making the same measurements using the free Benchlink data logger software that's included with the product. So I've gone ahead and uh, installed the software. We're connected with a USB cable. And the first thing we want to do is um, find the instrument. I've done that. And then the next thing is to go ahead and configure the channels. Just as we did from the front panel, the, the channels, again, are universal. So on the first channel, I get to select um, what type of sensor we have connected. And again, I have the 10K thermistor. So I'm going to go ahead and select that from the pull-down menu. Again, we'll measure in degree C. So this channel is configured. Again, with channel 2, I'm measuring the 5 volts. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the defaults. So we'll turn on that channel. And then with the third channel, again, it's a DC voltage. So I'm, I'm good with the defaults. But I do want to add in the scale factor. So I'll go ahead and enable the scale factors. And if I wanted to, again, we could set high and low limits or just a high or low limit. So these are the um, limits and the alarms that we can set along with our measurements. OK, moving along, we're going to go ahead and set up our, our scan interval. So again, we can select the amount of time. I have it set for five seconds. I can, again, select the number of scans I want to do, or I could just uh, ask it to be um, continuous until we stop. So with our scan set to 8, we'll go ahead and start our scan. And we're going to overwrite the data that's currently in the 34972. And we'll go ahead and look at this as a graph. So as the data is taken, it's coming back to the PC and being plotted so that we can verify the data in real time and make sure that the um, data as it's being scanned um, makes sense. So after about eight scans, we will uh, complete our graph. OK, so that completed our, our scans. So as you can see, it's very easy to set up the 34972 either from the front panel or using the free Benchlink data logger software to make committee measurements.